guys, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene and today my friends I am bringing you a very classic traditional way of how to do coquito. Now to me this is my favorite way. Um, it's just a little bit of work but it is fantastic. Your family is going to absolutely love it. And I remember drinking this by my grandmother. My abuela from my dad's side would make this and it had to be this way. It had to be classic. It had to be with the real deal stuff. So I'm going to walk over and it is a little bit of steps that I'm going to show you what we need to make this awesome drink. So stick around. All right, guys, now let's begin right here. I have one large coconut that I just cut into little pieces. If you can't find one large one, get two small ones. I have here one cup of water and we are going to make a tea with this, which is one stick of cinnamon. I got about seven cloves and I have fresh ginger. This is about one inch. So this is what we're going to need to simmer off and make a tea with. I have vanilla extract, I have a half a cup of sugar or to taste because my grandmother loved to make this nice and sweet. I have here three large egg yolks. Um, just save the egg wine so you can make breakfast with that or another recipe. But the egg yolks are going is what is going to thicken this drink up really lovely one can of evaporated milk and one can of sweet condensed milk and and I have here seven cups of water and that is all you're gonna need to get started right here now using my old saucepan that I absolutely love I am going to put in my one cup of water I'm going to be putting my cinnamon stick I have my fresh ginger is about an inch big and seven cloves. I'm going to place this on my stove to simmer on a low. That's all it needs to do. Once it starts simmering, you can definitely smell the fragrance of all the spices being cooked up. And that's all you're going to need. And it's just needs to cool off when that's done. I'm going to show you how that looks when this is all done. See you right back. All right, guys, now let's start with our next step. We are going to be making our homemade coconut milk. Um, this step should be the second step in doing this because you're going to want your tea mixture to seep and get cooled off before we mix it with the rest of the batch. So now let's start this. Okay, so now we are going to start putting in our pieces right in the water. Let's blend this till it becomes a pulp. Guys, the next thing you're going to need to do is to get a large bowl with a fine mesh and we're going to strain all the coconut pulp in here. And look at that. Wow. That's so good. And look at that. Beautiful coconut milk. I want to squeeze the bottom just to try to remove more of the coconut milk from the pulp as much as you can. All right guys, now we're gonna put in everything else minus the coconut milk. So right here, I am going to start off with my evaporator milk. And we just wanna make sure that everything is blend to perfection. And we're gonna use some Little extract, and I'm going to eyeball it and put in about a teaspoon or two. Or two. Can't go wrong with the little extract. Then I'm gonna put in my eggs, my three large eggs, 
and this is optional. Um, I remember always having coquito with this, especially when my grandmother made it. I never met anybody that got sick from it, but if you want to see a, a different way of making this, perhaps um, a cooked version, let me know. I would definitely bring one to you. Now I'm going to put in my... I'm going to put in the condensed milk. I'm, I'm scraping all that good stuff right out. And like I said, my grandmother loved it sweet. So I'm going to add additional half a cup of sugar. And this is totally to your preference. You don't have to put that. You can taste it and see how you like it. And then lastly, I'm going to put in the tea that we made. And that's one cup. All right, guys, so I am going to add, and this is my own take on it, a one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of ground cloves. I just wanted to emphasize the flavor just a little bit more. Now, this is just my um, take on it. All right, guys, so let's pour in our mixture that we have mixed together into our fresh coconut milk and then this my friends will be the last step besides putting this in whatever fancy jar or container that you want now i'm just gonna stir this in like this just so that everything can be incorporated and look at that my friends beautiful I love it, love it, love it. All right, guys, so before we do our taste test, I want to put away a nice jar for my family. So right here, I just bought this in a discount store. You can buy this online. I mean, you can use whatever you like. It doesn't have to be glass. It could be a plastic jar, whatever you like. Now, my batch of coquito right here doesn't have any alcohol because this is a family show. So I don't use alcohol. But because that is something that it depends on the person, if they want a strong, if they want any, if they want to serve this to their children, that's why I prefer to do it without any alcohol. So that way you can use your own discretion in how much of alcohol you want to use. That is totally up to you. And I am going to start to put this in my jar. Right here I have a glass jar with a spout just to help me carefully put in place all this goodness right here. My God, my abuela will be very proud of me if she was here. She is not. But I definitely keep her traditions alive. And I really do hope you guys give this a try. I know every household makes this different. So you can definitely share with me your family tradition and how you guys make the coquito. All right, my friends, I am thrilled to do a taste test. This, my friends, is something I hold dear to my heart. And I hope you guys give it a try. It's special. The little extra mile that you do for your family is special. The taste is going to be different if you know anything about the old school ways. And I also understand that every household is different. They make it different. They put different ingredients. And that is okay. So if you would like, I would love to hear what special ways your grandmother used to make it. Leave me a comment below. I would love to read through them. And this, my friends, is a pleasure of tasting after all that good hard work. It wasn't hard at all. It was very, very easy to make. So good. So refreshing. Mm. The real coconut 
that milk is so refreshing. So thank you so much for joining me. You know it's always a pleasure of having you cook along with me. This will be a dynamite to have for Thanksgiving. Make it for your family, for your household. It is delicious. You can even have this and make it for a guest. You can give this away as presents. Um, and some people even sell them. So it's totally up to you. But it's easy to make. And if you're doing it from scratch, it is easy. The coconuts are like a dollar, two dollars. And you can make a big quantity of it. I made a humongous quantity of it. And I love it. Um, this will stay good in the refrigerator for a good week. But it's not going to even last too long because everybody lives in this house. So, And if you want to see more Abuela type of cooking, that good old home island Puerto Rican cooking, you let me know. Let me know what would you like me to make and I will surely bring it to you. Take care, my friends. Until next time, I see you. Bye-bye.